Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Are you having a great day so far? I apologize um, for yesterday. Um, I got really busy. My appointment ran longer than I expected, and I wasn't feeling that well. Um, so I'm so sorry I didn't post a video on YouTube or Facebook. I'm very sorry about that. But today we will have a lesson. Let me move my mic a bit closer. Hello, Golden. Hello, hello. Um, before we jump into today's lesson, if you haven't yet and you would like to know when I go live, when I post quizzes, when I post new lessons, you can um, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Facebook, and you can turn on notifications over there. I'm also on TikTok. You can find me over there too. Tatetwin, hello. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know I got really sick in um, March and I still have to go to the hospital for checkups. I had a really um, nasty virus, not coronavirus, <laughs> but I had a really nasty virus and it's still in my system. So um, it's really easy for me to get sick. Uh, so I apologize for that. Okay, so we're going to look at phrasal verbs. I only have a little bit of time, so we're going to jump into it right away. We're going to learn phrasal verbs with off, okay? Very good. So phrasal verbs with off. Let's take a look. The first one we have is better off, better off, okay? Um, so the meaning, there are two main meanings we're going to learn today with better off. The first meaning is um, in a more satisfactory situation than you were before. So your situation is better now than before. Okay, very good. The second meaning is having more money and a better level of comfort in your life than you had before or than someone else has, okay? So basically, when we use better off, you are in a better situation than before, okay? So it could be just about your situation or it could be specifically about um, money and comfort level, okay? So let's take a look at some examples better off. So remember, this is inseparable, okay? We don't separate better off. So here are some examples. I know you loved him, but you're better off without him, okay? So maybe somebody was in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. I know you loved him, but you're better off without him, okay? Uh, yes, you can say, I'm better off now. Yes, that is completely correct, Mohammed. Very good. Okay, so even though you loved him, you are in a better situation now without him. Okay, he wasn't good for you. The next one, you're better off not knowing. You're better off not knowing. So this could be about anything about what somebody said, about gossip, about maybe a diagnosis, you're better off not knowing. So not knowing is a better situation than knowing. Knowing maybe is a not good situation, okay? The last one, we are far better off. So here far means very. We are far better off now than we were five years ago. So this could be about uh, your financial situation, money. We are far better off now than we were five years ago. Five years ago, we had no money. Now we are very stable, very successful. Okay, next one is come off, also inseparable. We do not separate this one. Meaning is to appear or to seem to be. He comes off as desperate. So he looks, he appears desperate, okay? Very good. 
the next one, I don't want to come off as rude. I don't want to come off as rude. So I don't want to appear to other people as a rude person. Okay, very good. Excellent. Oh, I see some great examples in the chat. Very good. My English is better off, I reckon. Ah, better off than before. Very good. Okay. Uh, the next one is doze off. Again, inseparable, inseparable. Do not separate doze off. Uh, the meaning is to fall asleep, especially for a short period of time. So, Kind of, um, um, we think doze off is like you're sleepy and suddenly you fall asleep, but a short time later you wake up, okay? Especially for a short period of time, okay? Example, she dozed off for a few hours. So a few hours is a short period of time. She dozed off for a few hours. Doze off is kind of like a nap, okay? The students dozed off during the lecture. Maybe the professor is talking, 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 a little boring. So the students doze off. Very good. Okay, next one. We're going kind of fast because I only have six minutes before I have to get off. Oh my goodness. Shrug off. This one is separable. This one is separable, okay? The meaning is to dismiss something as unimportant, okay? Shrug off. So shrug is kind of like this. So if you shrug off something or you shrug something off, it means that you're dismissing it. Oh, not important, not worth my time, okay? So uh, examples, you shouldn't shrug off your responsibilities, okay? Your responsibilities are important. You shouldn't shrug them off, okay? The criticism didn't bother her. The criticism didn't bother her. She just shrugged it off. So here it's separ separated, shrugged it off. Shrug it off, shrug it off. Okay, we'll go a little quicker. This is the last one. Tip off. This one is also separable. Tip off. Okay. So meaning to inform. To inform. So usually to um, inform someone of something that's going to happen or that happened or you know who did it. Okay. Someone tipped off the police before the incident. So someone told the police, they gave them a tip. They tipped off the police before something happened. And here we can separate it. Who tipped them off? Who tipped them off? Was it you? Was it you? Who told them? Okay. Very good. Very good. Ah, we will never shrug off our lessons. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello from Myanmar. Okay. So let's answer some questions really quick. We have five questions and five phrasal verbs with off. Better off, come off, doze off, shrug off, tip off. I only have four minutes left, oh my gosh. So I, my schedule is so packed today, I'm so sorry. So number one, I, mm, before setting my alarm clock, hmm. When do you set your alarm clock? Probably before you go to sleep, right? So I, before setting my alarm clock. Oh, Aliwan, perfect. Very good. Okay. Excellent, TF Ran. Good job. So the correct answer for number one is dozed off. Very good. I dozed off before setting my alarm clock. Number two is separable. If you have back pain, you shouldn't something it something. Okay. Aliwan, perfect. Oh, Tetatwin, very good. Okay. Number two, if you have back pain, you shouldn't 
Shrug it off. Very good. You shouldn't think, oh, it's not important. Maybe you should go to the doctor. Number three, you'll be something if you study more now instead of going out with friends. Very good. You'll be mm, if you study more now instead of going out with friends. <gasps> Can you get number three? Ali, very good, excellent. Good job, Kat, Marfa, very good. Okay, you'll be better off if you study more now. You'll be in a better situation. Excellent, excellent. Number four, because he's shy, he can mm -hmm, as arrogant. Because he's shy, he can as arrogant. Hmm. Oh, very good, very good. Ali, uh, Muhammad, good job. Muhammad again, good job. Okay, very good. Come off. He can appear as arrogant. He looks arrogant, but he's just shy. Okay, number five, the last one. The police were hmm hmm about the bank robbery. This one's easy, right? We only have one left. The police were hmm hmm about the bank robbery. Oh, good job. Very good. Okay, the last answer is so we have were here, so we got to change it. Tipped off. Very good. The police were tipped off about the bank robbery. Excellent, good job. I hope you got all five correct. We went through it kind of quickly today. Um, if you need more help, um, you can always go back and review this lesson. Maybe you can write down the words that you didn't know. Okay, very good everyone. So um, let's see. Uh, I will do my best to put up a YouTube uh, video again today. And uh, yes, I'm just so packed with my schedule. I'll do my best. Okay, thank you everyone um, for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you again. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.